If you're designing a part that is symmetric, you can save time by using the mirror feature. With the mirror feature, you can replicate individual features or entire bodies. In this lesson, we'll take a look at mirroring features. When we talk about features, we're talking about 3D geometry, like this cutout here. In order to mirror 3D geometry, we need to have a plane or a flat face to use as a reference. I can use a model face, a default plane, or I can even create a plane to use as a reference if one doesn't already exist where I need it. In this case, if I hover my cursor over the YZ plane in the browser, you can see it passes through the center of this part. This is no coincidence. The sketch for the rectangular extrude was created so that the midpoint of the rectangle is collinear with the origin, leaving the default reference plane in the center. This was a good strategy, considering it created elements of symmetry in this part, so we can now use a default plane as a reference without creating additional or unnecessary planes. To mirror the cutout, I'll begin by launching the mirror tool from the pattern panel on the ribbon. The first thing I'll do is make sure I'm selecting features with the Mirror Individual Features option. We'll look at mirroring bodies in the next lesson. Now, with the Features button depressed, I'll select the features I want to mirror. I can select them either in the workspace or in the browser. I'll select the cutout. When I do, you can see it highlighted in the workspace. Next, I'll click the Mirror Plane button. Here, I need to select any plane or face to use as the mirror plane, or plane of symmetry. I'll choose the YZ plane from the browser. When I select it, you can see a preview of the new geometry. And when I press OK, all of the features are mirrored. The design intent created here is powerful, because if the original feature ever changes, and since the symmetric option was used for the extrude, the plane we used for the mirror is always in the center of the part.